I was sick like two weeks ago and for some reason the cough and all the sinus stuff is still sticking with me and it's annoying. Anyways, I feel like I haven't filmed like a proper vlog in a few weeks and I've really missed it. So I was kind of craving it like to do it today. I do have a lot of things I need to get done, but I'm just gonna kind of bring you along with me. And then if we get everything done, maybe we can do something fun and cute. Let's get going with the day. listening to a guitar uh, okay the reason is because I really want a cozy spring read and I couldn't find anything that I felt drawn to and I kept wanting to re-listen to it and I was like no I've already listened to it I've already read the whole series like I can't I can't I can't but then I was like why not you know and she's in the spring court it just it aligns with spring so I am re-listening to it and I'm glad I'm doing it because I'm enjoying it I do feel like I kind of rushed through that series so quickly because I just wanted to know what happened so I kind of like the idea of going back and kind of re-listening and picking up on things I might have missed so I feel like I should be listening or reading something new but whatever this is what I want to listen to okay I'm just listening to my heart okay things are kind of weird right now uh it kind of does look more so like tiktok might actually get banned eventually i mean it's been threatened so many times it's hard to kind of take it seriously but also i could see it actually getting banned but then i could see it also not i don't know i just i don't know i don't know i think regardless if tiktok gets banned i think it's made me realize how much i would rather be doing youtube more full time than tiktok Lately I've just been feeling like I've been spreading myself a bit too thin, but I don't really see any other way out of it. Just because I'm trying to do YouTube full time, I'm trying to do TikTok full time, and I'm trying to get back into Instagram and like start posting more consistently on there as well. And then also I'm trying to open up my Etsy shop. And then also I still work once a week at the restaurant job I work at. And it's like, and, and also just a million other just little things. And I just feel a little bit like I'm spreading myself super thin, but I want to be doing all of those things. So I don't know the way out of that or to make it better. I think eventually I'll just figure out which areas I want to focus myself the most on. That's something I'm kind of just trying to figure out, but I don't know, weird times, weird times. But speaking of YouTube, I need to uh, finish uploading a video because I'm uploading a video today. So let's, let's go do that. <laughs> Y'all, so many hours have passed and I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I am trying to... <sighs> I'm trying to make a thumbnail for this YouTube video and I just hate everything I'm making. I just feel like when I'm feeling this way, I can't force myself to, to create something if I'm not feeling it and I feel kind of anxious. I feel like I should just step out and maybe we should go do something fun. And then I can come back with a fresh attitude and perspective and try again. I really want to get a video uploaded tonight though, but I also don't want to rush it. But, ooh, I got a new spoon ring. Y'all, my nails are so bad. I can't take them off though, because they're that like gel stuff you get at the salon or whatever. I wish I hadn't done that, because now I can't take them off. And I don't want to go by there and get these taken off. I feel like I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit here, so I think we really should 
go thrift shopping or something just step out of the house it is raining outside but it also is 75 degrees it has been so warm all week and it's kind of giving me this like fake sense of uh safety where i think this is the weather from now on but i feel like it's the end of march and it usually is pretty cold until like may or june so I, I don't want to get used to it, but I've been kind of liking it. It is St. Patrick's Day, like, weekend, but I'm not a bartender anymore. And I don't want to participate in anything at all. I honestly am feeling extremely hermity right now. I just feel behind on work, and I feel behind on having fun. But in the sense of having fun alone. You know? We are just gonna throw on a flannel, because I don't really want to think about putting an outfit together just to go to the thrift store. <laughs> We are gonna go to a thrift store that's all on back roads to get there, so that's ideal. I think I'm coming for that one. What y'all doing, babies? Nikki. I just got back from the thrift store and I just got some for me and Alex. Well, this one's for me, this one's for Alex. But, unless I steal this one, I don't know. Oh wait, I'm not even showing the cutest part, look. Isn't that so cute? I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, I just think it's gonna exist and be cute somewhere in my kitchen. I did go to a bookstore this week, so I'll show you which books I got. I wanted to go there to get a new journal because the one I have I'm almost done with. But look at how pretty it is. I love it. And like the pages are all gold and shiny. So cute. I got this book by Deepak Chopra. He has a book, The Seven Laws of Pow Seven Laws of Success, and then Creating Affluence. And I've read both of those, but I haven't read this one yet, so we'll give it a go. Plus, I like the butterfly. <laughs> I couldn't help myself with this one. It's just, you know. I don't really need to say anything about it, y'all already know. Uh, and then this one, I could not resist. It's about Appalachian witchcraft. I also did not realize my sister noticed this, that all the books I got were like color coded. They all, let me show you, hold on. It's so cute. <laughs> like it looks like they all go together. It's cute. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Uh, 
But y'all, I do have something a little bit embarrassing to admit, and that is that I accidentally killed all the zinnia seedlings. I did forget they existed, and I did not water them or turn the grow light on for two days. So they're dead. I do still have some herbs that are still kicking. Uh, but yeah, basically this whole setup and all this effort and time of me putting all of this together for them to grow was all for nothing because they're all dead. It was just trial and error and next year I know better. I don't think I'm going to grow zinnia seeds inside again because I think they grow perfectly well and quickly outside when you just sow them directly. So yeah, I feel like someone's going to come take my green thumb card away or something, but try try to come and take it Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness the theme for today is tea because my entire afternoon is revolving around tea also if you hear bottles clinking around that's because i'm going to the recycling center and not because there's just a bunch of loose bottles in my car y'all know that task that literally would take you five seconds to complete but it takes you, for some reason, three months to actually get yourself to do it. Yeah, that's me in the recycling center. So, but we're doing it today. Anyways, the theme today is tea because everything we're doing this afternoon is revolving around tea. I wanna go to Staples and get a little label maker so I can kind of start labeling all my teas because I've really just been throwing a bunch of tea in glass jars and trying to memorize which ones are in which which is not good. Because the other day I did in fact have sleepy time tea on accident and it was uh, noon and that was not what I wanted. So we're getting a label maker to label the teas <laughs> and then we're gonna go to this very cute witch store in downtown Charlottesville. It's called the Green Cauldron. I go there pretty often but they have really cute teas and they have really cute everything, honestly. They have some of the prettiest, like coolest crystals. And then we're gonna go to World Market because the other day I saw they had a cute tea press. And I was like, no, I don't need to get it because I have like my little tea decanter, whatever little ball thing. And then it broke. So then I was like, is this meant to be? So now I'm gonna go to World Market and get that little tea press thing because I also think it'll encourage me to drink even more tea than I usually do. And maybe I should drink more tea than I do coffee, because sometimes coffee makes me a little anxious, girly, you know? is staples I went and I got a label maker honestly I really wish I had just waited and gotten it off Amazon but I was feeling very impatient even for one day two day shipping what is wrong with me uh, and I got this green tape I really wanted brown but they didn't have brown so I'm gonna try out the green and hopefully it's cute but I don't really know if it's exactly what I want but whatever so anyways label maker and green tape also just got like bits and bobs this pen is really cute though i have arthritis i have ra and it really really hurts to write with a pencil so i kind of can only write with pens and so i got this cute little pencil for my new journal okay next was the little witch shop uh green cauldron i got two teas i cannot wait to try these this one is peaches and cream oolong tea and then some dragon fruit herbal tea. And then this is where I splurged a little bit, y'all. We bought a crystal. <sighs> I couldn't help it. I bought a quartz crystal ball. And then I got the little stand for it too. I just... It was speaking to me and 
It felt right, okay? Okay. This would actually be so cute to put on my tea shelf. Okay, and then we've got World Market. I got some of this coffee because I ran out of my Chamberlain coffee and they're sending me some, but until then I needed some coffee. I heard this brand is really good, but I got this for Alex. It's like Jack Daniels coffee. It's gonna be his birthday on Wednesday and he likes Jack Daniels, so. I don't know, just pick that up. Scrub Daddy. I got one of these cute little hanging things. I think I'm gonna put it in the kitchen, maybe? It also would be cute in the bathroom, but I think I'm gonna put it in the kitchen. Okay, and then lastly, we got the little tea strainer, which we're gonna be using today. What you doing, Fawn? You looking cute. Hi, Freya. Oh my goodness, you guys are the cutest little babies in the whole world. My little tea area is definitely one of the project areas I want to work on. It's like a mess. It has so much potential, but it's just a mess. And look at all of that mess. But yeah, I just, I want it to look prettier here. And there's just so much random junk up there. A bar regular <laughs> gave this to me one day because he said it looked like me. That was sweet. But uh, yeah, so I just want this to be better. Also, I would love to get two bar stools right here and then find a way to keep clutter off of here because every time I clear the clutter, it just comes back. So I need to figure something out there. Across from that, I do have this little apothecary cabinet that honestly is so messy and needs to be cleaned out. I can't really show you the inside of there because it has my special smoky blend things um but yeah i don't know i i could also keep my teas in here too i just need to kind of clean it up and to be honest my kitchen i i'm not in love with my kitchen the kitchen is kind of that area in my house that i just don't really feel very proud of i guess i've been considering doing that like renter friendly wallpaper stuff the sticky wallpaper on the fridge but that does seem like such a big annoying project and then also all my spices are back here and it just kind of looks messy and not cute i'd love to kind of fix that up a bit and make it prettier this stupid thing needs six batteries six like that's so dramatic i'm really hoping this ink is like spring green and not like lime green oh my god it literally says lime green right on it they gave just like a white version i'm just gonna test it out with this and then i think i'm gonna wait and label the teas until i order something Sweet little 
Sophie to the vet today. Um, she's getting an echocardiogram because uh, my little darling angel, she's turning 50. Um, it's actually a read for all of an old piece of mine back from... <laughs> I don't think I like this. Oh well, I'll still drink it. Not my favorite. Good morning, y'all. Today is actually Stara, which is the spring equinox. It is the first day of spring. Today is a very good day to kind of plant seeds figuratively and physically. So I'd really like to do that this morning. I kind of woke up this morning feeling a bit heavy and overwhelmed. So I think I would love if we went out in nature this morning and kind of brought brought my journals and notebooks and stuff and kind of started planting seeds about kind of some actions I want to take or kind of it just in some directions I want to go because I definitely do feel overwhelmed and a bit like disorganized and I kind of think that'd be the perfect thing to do for Astara. Also today, I haven't talked about this yet, but it's been a year since Puka passed away, which is crazy. The one year anniversary was this past Saturday. I'm gonna get a tattoo. I'm gonna get in the inside of my arm. I'm gonna get just Puka, like written in cursive, really small, like as small as they'll let me get it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do that today. I talked to a tattoo artist and he was like, this is too small for something scheduled, like just do a walk-in. So I'm going to try to do a walk-in today and get a little puka tattoo in remembrance of her. I am not a stranger to grief and loss. Like, I, I have had so much experience. But for some reason, puka passing away just felt like the most cruel, unnecessary thing to me. And it just felt like... It just felt very painful. She had just gotten her leg amputated. She had just beaten cancer. She was 10 years old. And I don't know, I just, I guess I thought I could save her. It's been a year and I'm still crying. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, I'm not gonna cry because I gotta put on mascara. <laughs> I should not have maybe put so much emotional dependency on this dying old cat but I did so yeah when Puka passed away my sisters didn't really even let me stay alone in the house by myself <laughs> that sort of vibe um and they were very much so like I know you don't have to you don't have to adopt a cat you don't have to adopt a cat but maybe foster like you have an empty nest, you have all of these, this love and this emotion and care that you want to give something and you need to give it to something. The barn became the most empty, sad place ever and I was so miserable. So eventually I did agree to start looking at foster cats and I refused to look at any black cats. I did not want to look at a black cat. I didn't, I did not want to replace Puka at all. So I was looking online a bunch and then I saw Freya and Fawn's um, like little story thing and I was like they are the exact opposite of Puka. They are pure white and there's two of them. So that was what drew me to their picture. So then I clicked on their picture and started reading about them and I was like oh they really really need help. Like Freya and Fawn had been in the shelter for so long. I mean I'm sure y'all know the story so I won't say the whole story again but basically Freya and Fawn had been through the ringer when I actually went to the shelter to see the girls there was <laughs> there was no connection whatsoever there were so many sweet and nice cats like that were very playful and cute and stuff and Alex was kind of like well look at this cat he's really sweet and he's like all playful and stuff they were saying they're like these cats are so depressed and nobody wants them they've been here for so long we don't see anybody ever taking them they're very special needs and we don't we can't get them to like have a personality 
It's so bittersweet because obviously I hate that I lost Puka. I hate that I didn't get enough time with her, but I helped her as much as I could. I helped her at the end of her life. And then being able to kind of move on and help other cats just, it really has healed my heart a lot. I hate that I cried on camera. I've never cried on camera before. I don't think I want to make a habit of that. So that was a, a rare treat. Don't expect it again. Well, anyways, that was just a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> so we should go. We should go outside. Let's go out in the woods. Freya looks so freaking cute right now. Let me show you. There's a hole in my boot. So my foot is soaked. Just one singular wet foot. Oh my gosh, y'all, a bald eagle. It's a bald eagle. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you. 